Hey guys, welcome back. Well, as camera technology evolves, it has made me wonder a little bit about what deer can sense and not sense in the woods. Um, you know, there's this uh, big question out there lately. Maybe some of you guys have seen it online about, you know, can mature bucks sense cell cameras or can they get spooked by them or detect them somehow? Uh, maybe some of you guys have seen the video that uh, Don Higgins put out. Uh, he's, he's convinced that uh, a mature buck can sense like the frequencies or the radio field of a, of a cell cam. And that's what I want to just talk to you guys about in this video, give you my thoughts on this. Um, you know, I, I started putting cameras out, cell cameras that is, um, a couple years ago. And I've started buying these Tacticams. I like them. Um, I don't think they're... Um, you know, completely undetectable by whitetails. And, and that's what made me want to share my thoughts on this with you guys is that, you know, in a lot of my videos, I have gotten bucks looking at my cameras, mature does, same thing. And that always makes me nervous. And I've always wondered, you know, what, what's the right thing to do here? Do you just um, deal with it? You know, they're not always running away. I have had some photos where a doe or a buck you get like one picture of them and they're looking at the camera and then in the next frame there there's a, a blurred image of the deer running away um, I, I never like that when that happens but um, I have always been of the impression that if deer can see your IRs the infrared lights to me that's more worrisome than the the radio frequencies or you know, being able to detect, like if your camera, your cell camera is connecting to the towers. Um, I guess I haven't seen any conclusive evidence of that, that it's spooking bucks. Um, but again, my bigger concern is that they're seeing the red IRs. And so honestly, the last couple years, I have started either putting the camera away from my stand a little ways, um, close enough so that I can do inventory and know what's using this particular area where my deer stand is but not right at my stand within bow range for example like in the areas where i bow hunt um, i have gotten photos and videos that have proven at least to me that bucks will will walk behind or away from my trail camera and i've gotten that before i ever use cell cams and so, you know, I don't think it makes the buck leave the county if he gets his picture taken. I hung a couple cell cams today. I got one right up behind me here, right there. Um, there's a couple things I'm doing to mitigate these mature bucks or does or any deer for that matter, seeing or being alerted by my cameras. And the first is I've just, I've got it way up in the tree, way up high. That's probably, it's probably eight feet up there. And the other one that I just set was a couple feet higher than that, probably closer to 10 feet because uh, I ran out of screw in steps. But I just um, put these screw in steps. It's legal here where I'm at to do so in the tree. Um, and then I'm just going to leave these in here now for the season so that when I go to pull this camera down, um, I can just get right up there and grab it. So that's one thing I'm doing this year is trying to get all my cameras real high. Um, the other thing I'm doing is this one right here and the other one that I set today are the Reveal Pros from Tacticam. So um, that so Tacticam says that those are the no-glow cameras. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but I'm curious to try these out this year and we'll do a test. Maybe I'll do another video at the end of the season to see what we got on this camera and my other cameras, whether it was the no glow or the low glow. So Tacticam has those two versions. If you buy like the reveal 2.0, that's just the low glow where you can still see those red IRs. These ones, the pros just have much less IR light that they're emitting. They say that it's really undetectable to a human, but whitetails can detect them. The IRs a little, uh, even when humans can't, um, there's debate over whether whitetails can or not. But my hope, so those are the two things that I'm doing. And so my hope is that by getting that camera way up high in the tree and then trying these no glow versions from Tacticam, um, that the deer over here um, that I'm on this deer trail that it's on, as they're walking by, my hope is that those two factors combined will make it so that they don't look up at that camera. Um, I do have these set on video mode. 
And I'm, I do that because I have a YouTube channel and I try to get cool footage for you guys to, to put on these videos. Um, but that is hurting me a little bit, I think. Um, you know, if I were you guys and I wasn't trying to get this video for a YouTube video, I would probably just put mine on like a one or two picture uh, burst. You could do two, but one would honestly be best. So that if when those IRs go off, if that buck caught something out of the corner of his eye, say at nighttime, and he looks towards the camera, there's no more pictures being taken. He won't see any more infrared glow after that if you have your delay set to say one or two minutes. You know, it would just be that one photo as he's walking through the woods in the night. He may catch a little bit of something out of his periphery, and as he looks, it's just pitch black night. You know, no more subsequent follow up photos. So, that's a strategy you could think about. Um, you know, when those bucks are alone and cruising, it's great because he's the first one to get his picture taken when you set your delay at, oh, say one or two or five minutes or whatever you want to do. It's when they start to get into the lockdown, as some guys call it, or basically as you get towards where the majority of bucks or mature bucks are on a doe and tending her and with her as she's about to come into estrus or in estrus or just out of estrus. The issue I've had when you set your delay at one to two minutes is that doe comes through first and he's back behind her just kind of following her walking, you know, and, and uh, so she gets her picture taken and takes the one or two photos of her. And then if you have your delay at one or two minutes, as she walks by, then here he comes behind her. You don't get the picture of the buck. You miss the buck. So that's the risk with that. Um, I've kind of played with both and you know now that I'm I'm trying to get this some video this year this fall it's um, you know those IRs sit there and glow for 15 20 seconds so that's hurting me and that has me concerned about some of my hunting spots about how close I should have these cameras um, when they're on video mode do cell cameras spook big mature bucks or can they sense them I don't think so, I, or at least not for the reasons that people are stating online. I guess I just don't have the evidence. Now, my opinion may change on that someday. If there's some kind of conclusive evidence or test done or study done, I may change my mind. I just, as of today, I, I haven't seen the proof of that, that those big bucks can sense that frequency. I got buddies all over the state using cell cams. And they've shot big bucks last fall and even this fall. I know a couple guys in West Central Minnesota that put great big bucks on the ground over a food plot and uh, you know they were using cell cams and so those are my thoughts on it. Um, the, the radio frequency part of the cell cam to me doesn't bother me. It's more of the infrared flash that I know conclusively and for a fact deer can see and it just makes one wonder on, especially on heavily hunted public land like back closer to my home where I bow hunt or even up here in the real remote big woods uh, northeastern minnesota public land tracks where whitetails aren't used to any sort of urban semi-urban human interaction i mean this is just tr truly true total wilderness for miles and miles and miles behind me there is no artificial anything out here if a deer sees those red irs out here that has me really nervous so that's what i'm doing to mitigate it this year and those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think down in the comments can big bucks sense cell cameras or not? And if so, why? And, and specifically, you know, cell cameras and then also traditional non-cell cameras. What about those in the infrared? Uh, good luck this fall, you guys. Take care, and I will catch you on the next video.